Uh, so when Achieve Hartford was formed six years ago, we created a theory of reform for how change was going to happen in schools in Hartford. And there were things on the list like high expectations, effective teachers in every classroom, strategies to address the challenges that kids are coming into school with instead of just kind of ignoring them or pretending that they're not there. School choice was on that list, right? And principles. Effective, strong school leaders was a major piece of our theory of reform because, one, because of all the other things that are on that list, they, they can't happen without a great principal, but also because of the impact that a school principal has on everything that's happening in a community and even the entire progress of Hartford's reform. Uh, if we're ever gonna get you know, Hartford's economy right, we're gonna have to do something about the schools. And if we're ever gonna get our schools right, we're gonna have to do something to ensure that every single school in Hartford has a fantastic school principal. Right? But we, we decided to look at this issue because over the years of attending Board of Education meetings, um, we noticed that it was about eight principals a year or eight schools a year were turning over their principals. And we thought, God, isn't that a lot for a, a district of say 50 schools? Eight every year? Well, it turns out that there is an average of around eight and it's 16% of principals every year are turning over and they're from different schools. Um, and 16% is actually less than the national average for urban school districts. But it turns out that that number is just way too high period for everyone. And you know, we're always expecting Hartford to lead, not just beat the national average. And on, a, on an issue of this importance, it's really important, we thought, to have Hartford figure out ways to, to keep great leaders and ways to make sure that they're finding new, new principles that are fantastic to fill open spots. And so that's why we decided to focus on this issue. And some of the things that we found in this publication um, may be surprising, may not be surprising, and I'll share a few of them with you. Um, when, we, when we looked at data that the district provided us on exit interviews to find out kind of why principals were leaving, uh, it told us some things, right? It told us that for principals, the salary in Hartford's very competitive, actually, right, compared to other districts. So it's not really about the money, right? The hours that are crazy in a school principal job, right, are, is not also the reason why, why principals would leave because they're getting into the job being okay with getting a, a, a phone call from 3 a.m. from a student who's homeless, right? They get into the job knowing that it's going to be crisis management some weeks. They get in the job knowing that the job itself is going to tax them and that they may not have the energy to do it forever, right? But principals are leaving, you know, earlier than you'd want them to for reasons that have to do with the school district, are they feeling that they're getting enough support from the school district? That's a major issue for principals, especially when there's a lot of turnover at the district. Um, the job itself is getting very complicated, right? So in a, in, a, in a system of school choice, they now have to become savvy marketers of their school. Are they getting the training for that? And then, you know, even things like about control come up. You know, how much control do they have over their budget, right? Over who they hire came up in that data. But then also, you know, another issue that, that is not lost on the average Harford resident is just the amount of funding that the schools have. A lot of principals that are at schools where the challenges are really, really great just keep feeling like they don't have the resources they need. And so when, when, we, when we wrote this document, we thought, you know, how do we talk about the story of school principals in Hartford? How many leave, why they leave? But then also trying to, trying to add value and be solution-oriented, you know, what are some recommendations, right? And so here's just a few recommendations that, that are in, the, are in the, uh, the report. Training has got to change, right? If principals have to be great marketers, they've got to know the budget, they have to be able to do family engagement much better than a lot of them are currently doing, as we know and as we keep talking about. Communications, right? School culture, teacher observation. I mean, this is like a, an incredibly sophisticated job. Well, they, they're going to need some great training from the district. In fact, the district's major job is going to be to figure out how to support principals and help them feel like they have everything they need. And so that's, that's a major recommendation in this document. But, but so is you know, providing some financial incentives, you know, because when, 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 when it's not about the money, um, you also have to think, well, what is the power that money can have to let principals know how valued they are? If you're a great principal and you're at one of the toughest schools in Hartford and you're doing a great job, you're getting offers all the time to leave. Every year people are blowing up your phone asking you to come be a principal at that school. We've got to figure out how to let principals know that they are valued in Hartford. And, and if it's not a financial bonus, then it's some other way to recognize how important they are to, to Hartford and to the entire city. And uh, the last one I'll share with you is just, um, you know, again, dealing with the issue of school funding, right? How do we make principals aware that 
The district's doing everything they can to give them as much money as they possibly can to recognize their challenges. Um, and if a principal um, is getting more money than the next, you know, they need to know that, right? Principals need to know that the district is taking care of them as much as they can when it comes to school funding. So there's a lot more in this report. We really hope you'll visit the website and read it. Uh, there are a number of different recommendations that I haven't talked about, other, other findings and best practices. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'd be so glad to have you engage with us in a conversation about this. And also importantly, uh, please do tell us what issue you want our next Ed Focus publication to do a deep dive on. We'd love to look at those issues that are most important to you. Thanks.